Hello everyone, welcome to the class of AI and today we are going to start some basic uh, concepts of Python and uh, we are starting with this variable string list and tuples. So these are the three topics which we are going to cover in this uh, tutorial. So starting with variable and string, string is a combination of characters uh, which make kind form of sentence or a paragraph. So whenever you combine some characters together, uh, it's form a string, right? And it's normally coded in single code or double codes. It's up to you. And here we are printing that string and we are saying that print welcome to the class of AI and see the output is there. So the welcome to the class of AI. Now coming to the variable, variable is a storage. It's a kind of temporary store, temporary storage where you keep the thing for a particular period of time. And once you want, once you use, if you want to clear it, clear it. Otherwise it will remain until you clear the session. So again, same string we, we see, we are saying we are learning Python's basic command and we are storing this string inside this message variable and we are printing this message variable. So once we print it, we are learning Python basic commands, right? Now we can perform some operations on uh, strings, which as uh, such as like uh, adding two strings, right? So you see in first variable and second variable, first message second message these are the name of the variables we kept it and then we added it to find uh combine a final message which is print final message it says welcome to the class of ai a sometime called machine intelligence right now coming to the list which is very very important topic or a kind of data structure in python list is a list stores a series of item in particular order and you can access them using index or the loops right so let's see how to form a list so for example this is the name of my variable uh, the variable type is list and we have stored a few character uh, few strings toyota bmw or d tosla right so these uh, means these value i have stored in the list and say when I print it, it's there. Now, if I want to access the first element of the list, I said car zero, it's BMW. If I remove it and say two, it will print you Toyota because the indexes start from zero, one, two. Now, if you want to access the second last element or the last element, so for example, second last element is Toyota. So I write minus two over here and see it's Toyota. For, and if I change it to minus one, the last element is Tesla. So the Tesla will be there. Now the same elements I can I can access them through a loop also and here I'm using the for loop you can see so the for loop because the car is the name of the list I'm using that list over here and for each item the car in the cars I'm printing that particular car so it will go through this car and then go first element car second element Audi third element Toyota fourth element Tesla if I run it it will print like that right now coming back to a very important thing you can add a element to the list using a function called append so what i did over here i have created a list called bikes and it's initially empty so you see i have printed an empty list now if i want i am appending a royal enfield and a honda over here so see at first position that is zero index it's royal enfield second index is honda now i can append another item like you can see this is the first item second item but if i add something in a square bracket it is going to create a list inside a list because this is also a list so if i append and print it you will see a list will be created royal enfield honda and this is another list right and to access the element of this list i have to tell because this is the index zero this is one and two so i have told like this two square brackets i want to access second list inside list and the first zero with element that means the first element it will be yamaha if i write one it will be kawasaki if i didn't give if i just want the whole list to be printed i just print like that and it will print like this right now we can produce numerical list also and for example i have created a list empty list name power and i'm using the range function which is start from one and go up to 11 so less than 11 that means up to 10 and whenever means each it will access each element of this list so for example one two three four and for each element it's going to square and append into the list right so see it's doing the square and after doing the square because here what i'm doing the square and then i'm appending it and where i'm appending i'm appending in power so one to the power two is 
1, 1 to the power 2, 2 to the power 2, 4, 3 to the power 3, 9, 4 to the power 2, like this, right? Again, similarly, instead of using the for loop, I can use it like that using the range function. And this is a good functionality available in Python. So I'm telling in a range 1 to 15, that means up to 14, whatever the element comes, do the cube of it. Right, so one see it did a cube for the elements which is exit. For example, if want to slice this list, so what I did, you can see I have put in a colon three. That means it's going to take all the element before three index. So it will going to print one eight and twenty seven. All right. If I make it maybe seven, it's going to print up to three four three because zero one two three four five. Right six because it's going to access that element now if i just want to start from here to here more for example 27 up to 343 so it will going to print like that so whatever the starting element l element and you if you don't have if you do means if you are starting from start so for example two up to the end of the list so it will st start from 27 up to 244 two, you can copy the list using this function. So I'm making a copy. So I, I'm not defining where to start from, where to end to. And then I'm just copying into a new variable, new list called power copy. And if I print, see, it's just copied the same power list into a new list called power copy. Again, a very, very interesting topic in Python is tuples. Tuples are similar to list, but the items in the tuple can't be modified. So they are not they're dynamic, they are static, but there is a workaround. You can convert the tuple into a list and then you can do whatever you like, right? So for example, if I have created a tuple with a two, three, right? So each instead of putting the square bracket, instead of putting the square bracket, I have to put like that it means it's a curly bracket, right? Now I have created this tuple and in this tuple, I have apple, banana and cherry. If I print this tuple, it says apple, banana and cherry. Now this tuple apple banana cherry print tuple one right if i want to print first tuple it's going to print banana because that's a first index now if i want to change if i want to change any element of this tuple if i want to play with it then what i have to do i have to convert this tuple which is the variable list it means this is the name of my tuple i'm converting that into a list and storing into a list called x so that means this tuple will be converted into list and will be stored into this x now i'm telling because for example if i just cross this and do this and print x right so you will see what is happening that i'm going to get the tuple but now if i want to access the element if i want the um, mango banana to be changed by mango so i'm telling in the list the first item should be replaced by mango so see it has been replaced by mango so these are some basic functionalities of tuple we have already seen list and we have seen uh, the functions like uh, we have seen variables and strings and uh, these are some basic concept and in the next lecture we are going to cover some other uh, important points of the python before we go into more deep Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe my channel. Thank you.